for this part, we are going to check if our computer has internet. Remember, we already set up the static IP. Then we are going to connect to the internet. Let me check. Even if here we have network, the connected net in a network, which is local area network connection, it doesn't mean we have internet. We are going to check if we have internet. Let me type Google. You see, we don't have internet. Even here to this computer, We are going to check it. Google Internet. Sorry, dot com. Mm -hmm. There is no internet. Then what we are going to do now is to supply internet to this switch. It means we have the we are going to use our gateway, which is a network device or it is, a, it is a router that has a connection to the internet. Then you are going to bring a network cable to this switch to be to the, to the internet. Okay, okay. This is a network cable. It means this network cable is already connected to the switch that has internet. And that switch is connected to the Louder that has the public IP of the internet, then we connect to this switch, and then we are going to supply, then connect to the power. Okay, you see, here we have, you see, here this red is to it is showing us it is already powered and those are four computers remember here we have three computers connected to the to the to this switch this and this and this and this comes from to the router then you connect to port 8 you see port 8 is blinking then you are going to check the internet to our Computer. We are going to check if our computer is already connected to the internet. Then you have to check here. There is no internet app. Remember, to this local area network, have used static IP. Then after we connect those computers to the router that has DHC, it means those computer maybe we are using the IP which are not reserved. Then you are going to change our static IP to DHC or dynamic IP address in order to be connected to the main router which we act as dynamic. Then you have to click open network and internet setting and property. You see here, this is the static IP address. We are going to change obtain IP address automatically to the, to this gateway or to the main router it means this address maybe it is not reserved we are going to obtain ip address automatically cross then okay it is identifying okay we have internet you see here it is already connected let me check. Okay. Our computer today to this local area network is already connected to the internet. And then you are going to check the second computer. You see? There is no 
internet access then we are going to change this ip address maybe i can use any static ip address or i can change this to obtain ip address automatically but this i'm going to show you different ways where i'm going to try another static ip address okay right click open network and internet setting then change adapter option mm -hmm. you see here dhcp is no it is not enabled and this we have 10.7 we are going to try another ip address let me write 107 then okay close mm -hmm. let me change it obtain ip address automatically then okay it is identifying okay it is already connected you see our computer is already connected it means it has internet access let me check google.com you see it is working we are going to check the third one if it has internet you see this it has internet let me check the ip config you see it has dot eight it is already much then thank you for watching we will see the next part be ready and make subscribe then if you have any question or any challenge to this video you can write it you can write it your question into comment section or you may contact me via whatsapp or an, any other social medias thank you